This light must come from inside the lighthouse. What is that ungodly stench? No time for speculation. I must lift this stone. Oh, my God. These lamps produce a lethal smoke. We must stop these fires, and quickly. A bucket and some water. Hurry, Watson. I am very happy that... Oh, my God. What sort of madman could... If we are to find out, we must find a way to reach the top of the lighthouse. I shall take this. I must return to the lighthouse, and quickly. Bravo, Holmes! Clever you are, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. You discovered our trail and found this fool, Arneson. Ah, oh, my dear Arneson, please tell me how his hand and all that goes on in his head. <laughs> I am Ashmat, true believer of the great old ones. Tremble, fools! I will fill you with lead and then stuff you with octopus. <laughs> Hmm, very interesting. Bravo, Holmes! Nothing. Hurry up, Holmes! Bravo, Holmes! Bravo, Holmes! Take caution, he is most certainly waiting for us upstairs. I will try to lure him into range, and this time, take aim at his head. Holmes, but I have no more bullets. Then fate is against us, Watson, unless, if his belief is his strength, perhaps it is also his weakness. Here is the place. Now, to find some blood and draw the sign of the Great Old Ones. I must find the place where I should write the sign of the Great Old Ones in blood. And there, it is done.
Spinaf could haul him she lose digger so bad the hole. It is locked. The only way in is to batter it down. Your friend will have a hard time, and you too, my friend. Kill me! You're too late. Nothing will stop the master from finishing his work. And why is that? The door is locked with a padlock, and as long as my friend's alive, you'll never have that key. He surely crushed your pathetic friend. Believe me, he's a better man in a fight than me. See to your prattle. Where is the key? <laughs> Here comes my friend. Where is the key? <laughs> Listen, you fool. What is the good of this great event if you lose your head and hands to a sword? You're right, my dear. Anyway, you'll never get that key so long as my friend's alive. He has it deep and safe in his own... Oh, oh, oh! Holmes, I am in time. As always, Watson, as always. I was quite fortunate. The fall broke the neck of my attacker, but I got off lightly, just some bruises. I am happy to see you safe and sound. Now, we must reach the top of the lighthouse. The door is securely fastened and with a formidable lock. The man over there, or rather down there, he told me that while this Hindi was alive, I couldn't have the key. Now, where could he have hidden it? You do not think that he could have... Yes, Watson, you once again grasped the obvious. He must have swallowed the key. I will have to... No, Holmes. I am the doctor here, and we have little time. Sword? I need something. Watson! Holmes, at last, here you are. Our informants did not lie. You are a most resourceful and cunning man. And you will have your reward, for you will be in the first box waiting his return. He is near. Can't you hear him? Can't you feel his breath? Leave them. It is time to stop this madness, Lord Rochester. All those people sacrificed for nothing. Flesh. Nothing but soft flesh. Think of your mother. She never gave up. She always loved you. Always searched for you. 
a soft-fleshed creature with no more value than dust. My true mother is the deep blue abyss where my master awaits. He summons me to join the light of abyss. Join us, Holmes, and you will be part of the dream. Sing with me now. Sing! Do something, Holmes. I won't be able to keep them back for much longer. And, and, my God, the sea is rising. Holmes, make haste or we are lost. Stand firm, Watson. There may be a way. The light. I found it, Watson. Light dispels darkness. I must fire up the lighthouse. Hold fast, Watson. I must continue searching or all is lost. Bravo, Holmes. Ah, no, no, cast out this light. Continue the ceremony. Sing. We must sing. You will never reach the end of your song, Rochester. Take heed as your choir is leaving. Come with me. This place is dangerous. You don't understand, Holmes. He is here. He has come. Rochester. I called you. You came. Take me! I belong to you! The world is yours, oh great A singular destiny was the fate of young Lord Rochester. Those who saved him from drowning in those dark waters off the Indian coast served only to cast him into the true abyss, that of madness, a brilliant young man of noble blood whose intelligence was perverted to the service of appalling ancient rites. What did he see or envision that transformed him into such a beast? To bring all those wretched souls to the slaughterhouse like so many sheep, then assemble a confederacy of criminals and psychopaths like the sinister Dr. Gijax, who used the sale of precious stones to ensure only the purest and most robust racial specimens were obtained for his purposes. Such men who would survive not only a long voyage imprisoned in the depths of a ship's hold, but the torture and drugs intended to hammer into their brains a sordid litany from the end of ages. Monster and genius, one and the same. Next was the discreet placement of his men in cities ideally located to secure representatives of every nation on earth. Blacks and Chinese gathered in the Americas, the people of Oceania and Asia in London, Eastern and Central Europeans gathered in Switzerland. Their delivery timed to the exact moment and place dictated by ancient rites and a precise stellar alignment. Finally, to find the only building perched over the water, where the builder had the convenient caprice to install Egyptian statues, and then to eliminate the lone occupant, taking their place by posing as their nephew and traditional heir to the post. Did genius create the evil, or evil the genius? You are awake, Holmes? Your moans got the better of my sleep, Watson. I assume you had the nightmare again? Indeed, Holmes. And this time the memories of that dreadful adventure were so vivid and real. Everything came back to me, as if it were happening again. All the better, Watson. It is because you had begun to forget. The best therapy would have been for you to write on the subject. But what we saw and endured must never be revealed. True, Holmes. We have never even spoken on it. But do you believe that had we failed, if we had not arrived in time, if this strange ritual had seen its end? Who knows, Watson? Who knows? But you speak of the past. What troubles me more is the future. Whatever do you mean? We eliminated, or have every reason to think so, a formidable threat to our society. But by doing so, we resurrected another, a hidden danger, one laden with hate and moved by vengeance, a ticking bomb waiting 
and the danger wearing a face I know far too well.